um, but from where you were standing and playing, was Michael the best or the greatest ever? I lived and breathed the Chicago oh, Bulls who didn't? Um, in real time, <laughs> right? Um, then um, the last dance brought it all back. Um, what was it like for you to watch that incredible documentary series? I thought it was special. I thought it was a special moment for us to really relive uh, some of the greatest time uh, in basketball history and more so uh, have an opportunity to see what team basketball was like. And I think during the pandemic, everyone sitting home, <laughs> uh, it was more like an educational tool to let people see uh, how great the game can be if it's played the right way. And if they're sharing of the basketball, uh, there's uh, unlimited things that you can achieve uh, in a game of basketball. And we were able to win six titles um, mm. over a decade, and uh, that's a pretty high accomplishment. Mm -hmm. People hate comparisons, and, and especially over different eras. Um, but from where you were standing and playing, was Michael the best or the greatest uh, ever? For sure. I mean, you look at the MVPs that he uh, was able to achieve, but I think it was all brought from us being successful as a team. Obviously, someone is going to bring those accolades home. But, uh, yeah, he was the greatest player, definitely in basketball. I started getting so upset when they started kind of leaving you out during that doco series because mm -hmm. you always came across to me as a, just a hardworking dude, um, immensely talented, but, but just so affable. Uh, and when the management started messing around, it was like awful. Yeah, it, it was to some degree. But I think at that point, they were sort of ready to move on from that group nucleus of players. And I think as professionals, we've we've seen that happen year in and year out. Where, you know, owners uh, decide to go in a different direction. And as a player, uh, you, you're prepared for it. Mm. Guys get traded every day. So uh, it was kind of tough for us to have to leave that championship uh, nucleus, but uh, we, we had to pick up and move on. If you don't remember, when Scottie Pippen was trying to sell his books, he was going around bad mouthing MJ. Then remember, he had a tour with him, I think it was you know, Luke Longley and Horace Grant, where they apparently were supposed to be talking about the real last dance, right? The one that. MJ left out and during this time also he was talking about LeBron James being the greatest of all time not Michael Jordan being the greatest of all time so for him to be speaking like this now you know he's flipped he's gone he's done a 180 right he don't even sound like Scottie Pippen of the past three four years right who said that Jordan did him wrong or you know Jordan wasn't an all-time player or he took too much recognition right you can even kind of see in this interview that he tried to bring in the whole team aspect but then he had to come back to Michael Jordan being so great I don't know if it's because of the commentators I don't know if it's really reality hitting him in the face I don't know what it is but at least he's coming back to reality right with his comments Okay. Personally, I think that he had gone off the deep end just to try and sell a book, to try to make some money because I think he got divorced from his wife who had gotten with Michael Jordan's son before, Larsa Pippen, and I think he lost a lot of money. And I think he did not have that many investments you know, after his playing career. So I think that he needed some money. So I think he thought that if he could generate attention, which he did, he could sell his book and make millions but i think the reverse actually happened i think if you step to the king you try to disrespect the king or you're not going to get the right attention that you want and i think he didn't get the right attention so now he's going back to what you know the whole world believes and what he deep down believes is michael jordan being the greatest of all time Right, the, that Bulls being the greatest of all time, and Michael Jordan doing what he needed to do to motivate them for them to win. All right now, he's telling the truth. He's not just fabricating stuff for clicks, for attention. You know, doing the Gilbert Arenas. Right now, he's just being the real Scottie Pippen, being serious with us, filling us in, letting us know the truth, and that's about it. So until next time.